Hello there and welcome back to Bolts for Bucks. My name is Steven Bresnaw and today we're going to go over the 6.5 PRC versus the 300 Winchester Short Mag. Okay, so um, the reason I picked this comparison is because, well, look at them. For one, they look kind of similar, right? They're both kind of short and fat and have a, a very steep shoulder angle. So they're both basically short action magnums. Even though the 6.5 PRC is not advertised as being a magnum, it's basically a 6.5 Creedmoor magnumized or turned into a magnum. Um, I have a video on the 6.5 PRC where I go more in depth about like the case design and everything. So go ahead and check that out if you want. But here we go ahead and let's look right at these. So the 6.5 PRC has a slightly shorter case than the 300 WSM or Winchester Short Magnum. All right, so the case capacity on the Winchester Short Mag is higher than on the 6.5 PRC. You'll also notice that the 300, obviously this uses a 308 caliber bullet, a 0 .308 diameter bullet, versus 6.5 millimeters in the 6.5 PRC. So you can use much heavier 200 grain plus weight bullets in the 300 short mag versus like a 143 grain bullet in the 6.5 PRC. But let's take a look at some of the basic uh, ballistics at given yardages in the same atmospheric conditions, see how they perform on paper, then talk about how they really perform in the real world as far as target shooting versus hunting performance. The 6.5 PRC using a 143 grain ELDX factory load shoots 2960 feet per second at the muzzle with a 24 inch test barrel. Has a ballistic coefficient of 0.625 and at 500 yards has a velocity of 2245. The 300 Winchester short mag using a 200 grain Precision Hunter ELDX. So I'm comparing the basically factory offerings in ELDX from Hornady for this. Uh, and I do realize this bolt's much heavier, so it's gonna mess with the ballistics a little bit here. But it shoots 2880 feet per second out of a 24 inch test barrel at the muzzle, has a ballistic coefficient that is less than the 6.5 PRC at 0.597. At 500 yards, it's 2147 in velocity. So at 500 yards, the 6.5 the six PRC is, is carrying more velocity, has a more efficient, longer bullet, higher ballistic coefficient um, than the 300 um, WSM. However, at 500 yards, the WSM, the 300 Winchester Short Mag, has 2047 foot-pounds of energy and the 6.5 PRC only has 1,600 foot-pounds of energy. So far less foot-pounds of energy. At 1,000 yards, the 6.5 PRC is traveling at 1,640 feet per second. The Winchester Short Mag with the 200 grain ELDX is traveling at 1,537. The foot-pounds of energy with the 6.5 PRC at 1,000 yards is 854 pretty measly. And at a thousand yards with the 300 WSM or Winchester short mag, it's got, still got a thousand forty nine. So 1,049 foot pounds of energy. So from a hunting standpoint, this WSM is definitely performing with higher foot pounds of energy, a bigger, bigger bullet diameter, a heavier bullet, heavier bullet, and will probably have a lot better terminal performance on large game, right? Bullet drop at a thousand yards with the 6.5 PRC is 299 inches and 325 inches. So the 6.5 PRC is definitely shooting this lighter, narrower bullet much faster. At wind drift, we have 62 inches with the 6.5 PRC at 1,000 yards with a 10 mile an hour crosswind, 69 inches with the WSM. So basically, what does this all mean, right? Okay. Now you can shoot lighter bullets out of the 300 Winchester short mag, obviously, and get higher velocities that would compete or outperform the 6.5 PRC, right? Yes. Now, generally speaking, the ballistics on the 6.5 PRC 
It has a better, the bullets are gonna have a higher cross-sectional density. They're gonna have a higher ballistics coefficient. They're going to be longer, skinnier bullets. They're going to have less wind uh, deviation. It's gonna perform better at longer ranges than the WSM. The WSM is gonna generally lose its velocity faster. So what's that mean? The 6.5 PRC is basically a better target long range cartridge to choose if you're target shooting. It's gonna have significantly less recoil than the 300 WSM, way less recoil, which is gonna make it easier to get on target sooner and faster for those follow-up shots. It's gonna make it more comfortable to shoot, and therefore you're probably gonna shoot it slightly more accurately. And basically, this is going to be a superior cartridge choice for precision shooting, long-range shooting, and competition shooting. The 300 Winchester Short Mag, however, is going to have heavy bullet offerings, meaning you can shoot bullets that are heavier than 200 grains. You can shoot very light bullets to very, very heavy bullets out of the Winchester Short Mag. This allows you to shoot heavier bullets with greater foot-pounds of energy downrange than with the 6.5 PRC. So at ranges less than so like we said, at 1,000 yards, the 6.5 PRC is only carrying 854 foot-pounds of energy, while this 200 grain bullet is still holding 1,049 foot-pounds of energy at 1,000 yards. You, you can shoot a much, much heavier bullet with a big, bigger bullet diameter and therefore have way more foot-pounds of energy on your wild game and better terminal performance on large game. You can still shoot big game and have terminal performance with the 6.5 PRC. You can still shoot elk with the 6.5 PRC. Bigger, heavier bullets tend to be more forgiving when you accidentally make a bad shot than the narrow, skinny, light bullets do. That's just my personal uh, experience with them. So from a hunting standpoint, if you're gonna be shooting game past that 500 yard mark, or even 300 yards, the 300 Winchester Short Mag is a better option. Really, it's gonna be a more terminal option or a better terminal performance option uh, all the way from you know point blank all the way up to a thousand yards than the 6.5 PRC. However, I love the 6.5 PRC. It's got much less recoil. It's extremely flat shooting and accurate and both will get the job done. I hope you liked this review of the 6.5 PRC versus the 300 Winchester Short Mag. If you did, Go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel.